welcome to Sink a Spur. We are so glad you're tuning in with us today. Uh, wow, what a New Year's Eve, huh? Snow, uh, our friends over there in Big Lake, J&J &J Cattle Company, the Ferguson sent some pictures out. Man, there's snow everywhere is beautiful. Uh, we got a little bit here, as you could tell this morning uh, when y'all fed with me, that we got a little snow, but we got more rain than anything. Of course, moisture is moisture. We need it, we'll take it. No arguing with that. So, uh, man, I'm glad you got to walk through me while I was feeding this morning. Uh, it was really muddy and it was really cold. Uh, it's gotten a little brighter now and warmed up a little bit, so so that's good. But um, I don't know if you noticed going through my pens that uh, some horses had blankets and some didn't. Now, if a horse thought the same way a human did and behaved the way we do, Boy, you're talking about a lot of room for some animosity. I'm talking about lots of trouble in the house. And what I mean by that is something I want to talk about today is envy and how easy it is to envy what some have when you don't have anything. I'm going to refer to these horse blankets for a minute. And even the horse people, you know, their minds are on everything's got to be fair and everything's got to be if one person gets it, the other person gets it. Well, that's not always true in the will of God. I mean, God has his own plan and purpose for each person and uh, any entity of their life that's going on. And so this one, let's just talk about the blankets. And if you're a horse person, I'm sure as I was going through there, you were feeling sorry for some of them that didn't have blankets and thinking, why does this one have blankets and this one doesn't? And I'm gonna explain that to you real quick. Um, the horses that you saw that have blankets are our performance horses. My kids rodeo on them. And uh, so they, they, during the winters, they go to a lot of uh, climate control, indoor arenas, things like that through the winter. And uh, not only that, especially my daughter, but when she shows up, she wants to look good. And not only that, she wants her horse to look good, shiny and all that. So uh, we try to keep that winter hair off of them. And not just for the looks, but also when you think about it, you go to a climate control arena, uh, they've grown a lot of hair. Well, they're gonna have the tendency to get hotter than any other horses. Uh, boy, you start running them and they get hot, they get sweaty. Well, now you gotta cool them down and, and you're going from an indoor facility out outdoors where it's 30 degrees they're sweaty you can't dry that hair off that quick so it just makes it a lot easier tougher at home keep blankets on them keep them warm with without the hair that the others but the ones over here that you see that don't have blankets on my place uh they're my using horses all right they're horses that i'll use to work cattle catch uh stray cattle for the sheriff's department they work on um, i can't keep a blanket on them i need them to get their natural hair growth so when I'm going out in 30 degree weathers in the winter to work cattle or ship cattle, catch cattle, whatever, um, boy, they'll freeze to death if they don't have any hair. And I sure can't ride with a horse blanket on them. It just makes it very difficult and uh, cumbersome at that. So um, I have my reasons why some have it and some don't. Now remember, God designed these animals to be outdoor. So he has developed their own coat, their own blanket and that hair and that hair will grow according to the temperature or, or the environment where they're at at that given time. You know, the further north you go, I'm sure they're gonna put on more hair. Uh, down you come down further south, they're gonna grow a little less hair. Now there was one that uh, I was feeding these pens over here. Uh, he had a blanket on, but he's my using horse. He's a ranch horse. But the reason he has a blanket is he doesn't grow any hair. So, um, Man, in the winter, he freezes to death and he just sits out there and just shakes because he won't, I don't know why, but he doesn't grow hair. So I keep a blanket on him for that. So, you know, I take care of everything according to. But I want to talk about envy, how easy it would be for these horses that don't have a blanket to look at the ones that do have a blanket and whine and cry about it, get mad about it, fight about it. They get jealous and, and they're always in torment with one another because someone else has something that they don't. Now, tomorrow morning, I'm going to challenge you visit us at 10:30 at the Monte County Cowboy Church Facebook page. Come in with us for on live service. And this year the my my purpose, my vision, my plan for our church is step by step learning to man, get in the word and live by it. Remember I, we've gone over it before that I am the way, the truth and the life. Jesus is the way, his way. And living in the truth is the only way that we're supposed to live by the word of God. And when we do that, we enter a new life, an abundant life, a life with, without all these things. But we know that, that the main drive of any direction you wanna go, it starts with love. Guys, we got to learn how to love. 
And you're going to find it remarkable that one of the things that uh, in the definition of love, there's one thing in there's There's a lot of things. I'm sorry, but envy is one of the things we're not supposed to do. It says that love does not envy. It does not boast. All right. It doesn't envy. So we, we need to learn to be pleased with what God has given us provided for us and not worry about what anybody else has because God says I give and I take according to my will your thoughts are not my thoughts and your ways are not my ways so lean not on your own understanding but lean on the every word of God the truth and stay focused on what God's doing with you and not what they're doing everybody else these horses don't know that um, that guy has a blanket and they don't man they got a big thick ball of hair all over them and you know and they're staying just as warm as the other ones now the only thing uh the thicker the hair the easier to shed the water off when it's raining but uh we don't understand that there's purpose why some have blankets and some don't same way in your life there's reasons you don't have things there's reason you don't do things there's reason things god doesn't do in you and and you need to understand that um He's got you right where he wants you, and he's doing through you exactly what he wants through. You just got to learn to be happy with yourself and what's going on in your life and quit worrying about everybody else. Envy. I'm going to read something to you in the book of Proverbs. All right? So y'all grab your Bibles. Turn to Proverbs chapter 13, 14, chapter 14, verse 30. Now, sound hard. We're talking about a heart that understands, all right? A heart that's living in the truth, that understands uh, what God's purpose is, and he accepts it. I, I accept what you're doing in my life. I accept where you have me. I accept what I have and what I don't have. I accept you. Uh, it's just between me and you. It's our relationship. Nothing else matters. That's sound heart, okay? A sound heart is life to the body. But envy, envy rots to the bones. Y'all need to understand it. Boy, when you envy somebody and you wish you had something that they had or don't have and, and you're just worried about everybody else, it's going to create anger. It's going to create anxiety. It's going to create depression. It's, it's going to create a bad relationship between you and Jesus. Envy. It says it rots to the bones. All right? You're, you're just... And there's more scripture we're going to go over tomorrow at church, and I don't want to go into all that right now. But we're, we're going to go through how important it is to understand that envy is bad medicine. All right, it's a poison. And when you allow that envy into your heart, it's going to destroy your world. It says uh, that it leads to spiritual and physical death. Envy is a bad thing, guys. But like here, you know now that I have a purpose for each and every one of these horses. The ones that are, that are on the road and they're indoors and they're going down there and we're doing a lot of rodeoing on and stuff. Hey, they get a blanket. They got the shine, boy. They got to shine like new money. Not only that, it's better for their health, the indoors and the outdoors. Y'all know how it is. Animals are the same way we are. We get all hot and sweaty. Then we go out in the, hot, in the cold. Uh, we're liable to catch an upper respiratory infection or e even just a cold or get a runny nose or something. It's not good for the health. So uh, to be able to control that is better for our horses than allowing them just to, you know, grow hair and or not grow hair or keep blankets on them all, but just like these horses back here, you know, these are my day working horses. I can't keep blankets on them. They're gonna be out there. They need that hair to keep them warm while we're gathering or sorting or catching or whatever we're doing. So uh, guys, tune in with us tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. And let's start out this new year right. Getting, collecting ourselves, holding ourselves accountable and doing what the word of God says. Last Sunday, uh, we went over the scriptures where, um, now I'm trying to remember what it was. Going over the scriptures where, where God says, you know, oh, you call me Lord, Lord. But why do you call me that? You don't even do what I say. You keep living your same old way, doing your same old way, and then you call me Lord, Lord. He says, those, man, they worship me with their mouth, but they don't worship me with their heart. They don't take my word and apply it to their life and live by it. Live on it, live through it, live by it. And that's what we're going to learn. So listen, stay tuned with us. Come come tomorrow morning, 1030 at the Monte County Cowboy Church Facebook. Uh, man, we're going to have a good time. We're going to start this new year out right. We're going to start getting some things lined up. We're starting a new training process, all right? I want you to be a part of it. 
So glad you tuned in with us here at the Sink and Spur. We love you guys. Be blessed. And oh, by the way, we've got a lot of things coming up this year with Sink and Spur. I want to thank all those that contributed to this part of the ministry. Uh, man, your giving has been a blessing and it's allowed us to do some other things. Matter of fact, we've got Staley Keck that's come on and um, I'm hoping that, that we can keep him on. So that'll be uh, uh, our 21 objective is to keep him on. He's going to be our new video editor and uh, video. He's going to be it all, to be honest with you. He does all the video, all the editing. Uh, awesome guy. I'm excited. Makes this part really easy. So um, anyway, got a lot going on. Just wanted to thank everybody for your contributions toward this part of the ministry. And again, guys, don't forget your, your prayer time. The sinkaspur at gmail.com is still on, still live, waiting for your input, waiting for your prayers. Now, that's our prayer request line. So you got a prayer request that you want, send it to that. Sinkaspur at gmail.com. Send it in. Uh, man, we want to get you on the prayer list. Remember, we've got a lot of prayer warriors out there over this past year. And so, anyway, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Until then, spur one another along towards love and good deeds.